Hello friends, in the present video, we will discuss about the group action of piles. That means as of now, we have seen the capacity of pile at a single pile. Now, in the present video, we will discuss if there are more number of piles, then how do we find the pairing capacity and also how they will behave. So that's why group action of piles. Coming to the structures in deep foundations, we don't construct a single pile. We will construct a number of piles and then so minimum number of piles for the construction should be minimum equal to 3. So this is the prescribed value we have, we have to follow it. So if you want to construct a pile foundation, we have to construct a minimum of three piles. Okay, uh, the number will be depending upon the again load acting on the structure also. Suppose uh, if I consider a single pile, let us assume if this is my single pile, and also let us assume I have constructed a uh, group of piles. Uh, let us imagine that. At a particular cross section, I may able to see the three files. Let us assume. So, if you talk, uh, if you talk about the stress isobars, how they will look like? Uh, they will look like this. If you talk about the stress isobars in this group action of files, so there is some purpose why I am drawing this. So in power we can draw it as like this. So if you see here, the stress bars will overlap here. So if there is a group action of files, we should not say that uh, that total capacity or uh, capacity of the group action is equal to the number of times the single pile capacity. That is not same. Why? Because if it is a group action of files, the stress bars will overlap. As the stress bars will overlap, we should not take it as a combined leak. That means the pile capacity of group, group capacity of a pile, that we should not consider exactly as n into q. We should not consider this way because as the stress bars are interfering, then and also while installing the piles, there may be disturbance from the soil for the surrounding soil. So that's why, in general, group capacity is always less than the n into q times p. So capacity of the group action of piles will be always less than the sum of the capacity of the individual file while because the stress distribution may overlap and also while installing the soil mass, the soil in between the piles may get disturbed and that may cause a dynamic action also. Because of these reasons, your capacity, group capacity of a piles will be less than the sum of individual capacities. So that's why for the determination, we will find out in two different ways. Determination of group pile capacity. Determination of group pile capacity. So here, the ultimate load, it can be considered as a smaller of the following two cases. Smaller of following. That means, first, we will find out the ultimate load carrying capacity of n piles. Ultimate load capacity. N pile. That means single pile we will find out and then we will multiply by the number of pile. That will be nothing but a load capacity of the all piles. In the second case, we will find the ultimate load capacity of single equivalent block. 
सिंगल इक्विवेलेंट क्लॉक दिस इज रिप्रेजेंट विथ क्यू यूर सब्सक्रिप्ट इन द फर्स्ट केस वी विल एज्यूम दैट ए सिंगल पाइल इज फेलिंग इफ ए सिंगल पाइल इज फेलिंग वॉट इज द फोर्स रिक्वायर्ड so for that it will multiply with n number of piles then that will consider as a ultimate capacity of n piles but in the second case we will assume that all the piles in group they are going to be failed so that is what also called it as a clock shear failure so instead of a single pile single pile the group of piles are going to be failed so that is what the group block shear failure for that we will find out the load carrying capacity in group so we will consider the smaller of these two values that will be considered as a load carrying capacity of the pile group in the next video we will see how to find this bearing capacity in case and also in sense thank you